I don't know, savages. This show might not be that great, but we're going to give it a shot. <laughs> it is Friday, so let's get after it. What is up, savages? Let me check my audio, make sure I'm good. It looks like I am. Uh, it's Friday, February 15th, 2019. Uh, welcome to the Random Coin Mining Show, where we mine a different coin every weeknight at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you like crypto mining video content like this, be sure to subscribe to the Savage Mine YouTube channel. And if you want random crypto thoughts and things, let me uh, switch over. Sorry about that. Let me switch over to the desktop. Uh, subscribe to the Savage Mind YouTube channel. And if you want random crypto thoughts and things like that, um, and to argue with me on Twitter, you can uh, follow me over there as well. Let me uh, get back up here. And uh, yeah, so I talk about, you know, crypto mining stuff over there on the channel. So, and. Um, also, just random thoughts and things. So, uh, before we get started, be sure to smash that like button or dislike button. It doesn't matter to me. I would rather you like the like the video, but if you don't, it's still an interaction. So, smash the dislike if you don't like it. Uh, and I would also last night I was trying to do a shout out, but we kind of ran out of time. So tonight I wanted to give a shout out to not your normal miner. He's over there doing some pretty cool stuff. He's got um, a miner farm or a farm, a GPU mining farm. He calls it a garden. It's kind of, uh, I don't know how many GPUs total he has, but what's really cool about his particular channel is he ha he does uh, comparison videos, so like pools and miner programs and things like that. Super cool. So you can kind of get an idea of, uh, you know, the differences between different pools and different. Uh, minor operating systems and things like that super cool stuff and he's got this remote garden location which is apparently in a basement and it's uh, super cool because uh, you know he has really cool temperatures now which is you know something that we always struggle with I, I certainly struggle with it because I mean most of them are right here uh, I just ran across a few that uh, end up being something that I can add and feel pretty confident that if we did land on that in a random way that we would be actually we would actually be able to mine it so uh, I, I usually do at least a you know just a, a smidgen of research to make sure that we would be able to mine it if we actually land on it it's not always the case but you know but that's why I pre-record the videos because I want to uh, not waste everyone's time so what I'll do is I'll pre-record the video, the randomization pick video, and then that way I can do a little bit of research and make sure that we're going to be able to mine whatever we land on, right? Because it would it would really suck if if we just went through you know 20 or 25 minutes of data collection only to find out that we're not going to be able to mine it because there's not a wallet or there's no pool support or whatever. So um, yeah, so it's it's better to pre-record it. So let's take a look at the market real quick super boring today not much going on uh, you know hey it is what it is and as far as what I am mining I'm still mining grin probably within about five days I think within five days I'm probably going to be able to switch off of it and uh, you know and hit something else um, and something I, I gotta clearly I must have to point this out but I say it pretty frequently on the show the coins that we land on are random okay I don't I'm not shilling those coins I'm not saying that you should point your miners towards those coins the only reason the only purpose of this show is simply to go through the steps and go through the motions of mining different algos different coins different uh, minor operating systems different miners you know all those different things so that we can just keep our skills sharp right keep our tools sharp that are in the shed right so that's all it is I am not clearly I'm not mining the coins that I'm that I've done videos on recently I mean I'll let you know hey I'm kind of interested in this project this is kind of cool you know like I did with turtle turtle uh, turtle coin last night 
I'm kind of interested in it. That doesn't mean I'm shilling it or saying to go and, and mine it right away or anything like that. I'm just not, and I'm clearly not mining it. I mean, you can look right here. I'm still mining Grin. I will be mining Grin for another probably five days, and then uh, I'll hit my mark, and then I'll be able to move on to something else. That's just the way I, I do it. I am not saying that you should mine the coins. I mean, come on, guys. You, you see the coins that we land on. They are not good projects, a lot of them. You know, I mean, out of 150 or so, I don't know how many we've done so far. It's quite a few. But there's only been maybe a dozen, maybe 10 to 12 that, that I would say, yeah, I think I might, I might be interested in this coin. You know, you don't see me downloading the wallets for these coins anymore. Um, you know, I'll try to find a, a donation address or something like that. Although tonight, this coin is going to be kind of tough, uh, what we landed on. But uh, hopefully I can find something for that. Anyway, all right, so enough of that. Uh, so last show we landed on uh, Turtle Coin, like I was saying. It was a Kryptonite Pico Algo Coin. We were able to mine it successfully. Actually, after the show ended, I was able to successfully mine it, and I can show you what I did wrong. Uh, it wasn't really something I did wrong. It, it was just that where I copied the um, address from was on their Bitcoin Talk thread. Let me show you what happened here. So if I just go to Turtle here, just real quick, I'll just show you this. I think it was on their second or fifth page. I think there was a an address on here, right here. So if you look at this address, okay, everything looks great, right? It looks, you know, like a valid address. But if you copy it and then you put it on, say, Notepad. I might have to bring this down. Hang on a second. So you put it on Notepad, and you right click, and that's why there was it was telling us it was an invalid address, right? So that was the symptom. Although I didn't really look, <laughs> but if you copy, we ran into this several times with NeoScript al algorithms or NeoScript addresses, uh, Kryptonite addresses. There were a few other ones. So it, for the for the purpose of the of the show, it kind of um, what's the, what's the word it it's something I need to look at in the future because I'm not downloading the, the wallet and getting an address that way. I'm just kind of grabbing it off of their Bitcoin talk thread if I'm not really that interested in it. And I need to be careful that I look at this particular uh, situation because it's happened more than once. So um, if you see me do that in the future and I'm not talking about this, let me know and uh, remind me like, hey, remember, whenever you paste that address in there, it's probably going to have a space in it or something wrong with it. And we ran into that before. So anyway, I'm just rambling. All right. So uh, let's see. Where were we? All right. So I need to play the the pre-recorded video. So let's do that now. So that we can see what we landed on. It's kind of interesting. It's not a, you know, I didn't want to grab their wallet. So it's not interesting enough for me. But it is an interesting coin. So it's Monero V. I didn't know if I should call it Monero 5 or Monero V, but it's Monero V apparently. Uh, ticker is XMV and it's a kryptonite algorithm. I did not collect any information. I kind of did this one the same way as I've done all week where I leave all that up to us to do it live. So uh, basically all I have <clears throat> is is the yeah what you saw right there. That's it. This is all I got. So um, I'm not interacting with the chat. Let me head over there and see who's in here. What's going on, guys? Yeah, there's a few of us in here. That's cool. Bitcoin Jake, YouTube watcher. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Let me uh, head back over here because I have, I mean, we're already at 41 and we got to be done by 10. <laughs> so let me get this data collected here so that we can try to mine it. I think we're going to probably have a problem with the wallet, though, because I, I could not find a donation address in the Bitcoin Talk thread, so I might have to download it. I don't want to, but uh, I might have to. Uh, so we'll go with XMV. We'll, re we'll remember that it's XMV is the ticker, so whenever we're looking for all this information. So we'll go to CoinMarketCap first, and we'll go XMV. I'm sure it's in here, but it's not. 
I think this is one of those coins that happened whenever the ASICs came out for Monero and they just, it was like they just split. Like there was several Monero, different versions of Monero, remember that? And, uh, and this is one of them, so um, let's see here. So not on CoinMarketCap, let's see if they're on, on CoinGecko, probably so. Yeah, they are. So Monero V, we'll also go to their website from here and their Bitcoin talk thread. So we'll get both of those. They have all their other stuff on here as well. Reddit, Twitter, and Telegram and all that. So that's cool. Um, it looks like they are not even worth a penny, which happens a lot with the coins that we land on, but that's okay. Not a big deal. Put that in here. We'll go to what to mine. I don't think that they're gonna be on there, but we'll see. It was a uh, XMV, right? Is that right? XMV, yeah. All right, so it's not on there. We'll go to coin calculators. There's a lot more listed on here, so we'll try to see if they're on, on here or not. And this is just kind of the standard things that you'll go through uh, if you want, if you're interested in a project and you want to actually mine it, I mean, this is kind of the steps that you, you would normally take, uh, you know, just to research and figure out what's going on. So it is on coin calculators. It says it's a kryptonite V7. So we might want to document that just to be sure. And then we might come back here whenever we get a hash rate to see what we're what we're dealing with. Since it's a kryptonite coin, we'll probably use our Scarif rig, which is AMD. It's a 12 GPU rig, uh, 10 580s to 570s. And this is the hardware for that. So. It is running Hive OS, that is true. So we'll put, um, it's not what to mine, but it is a coin calculator. So we'll, we'll throw that in the documentation. And all this stuff right here that's grayed out isn't necessary. It's just good to have information. So we'll go to their Bitcoin talk thread next. And that was right here, I believe. Now, what is the difference between Monero, regular Monero, and Monero V. The the main difference that I saw just in the few minutes of research that I did is that they do have a cap on the number of coins where Monero doesn't. So uh, the way they, they describe it is, I've got it written down here. Uh, it's a, yeah, Monero V is a kryptonite coin compared to regular Monero. Monero V has a limited supply of coins while Monero's coin supply is infinite. And it's also an advanced privacy coin with extra add-ons, more governance, less spam, and botnet mining. Uh, their development team works on several key issue, key features. This is kind of interesting. This is what I felt was super inter interesting about this particular project. Their development team is working on key features such as Mimblewimble integration, sidechain support, spam elimination and more if you watch this channel you know i'm a fan of mimblewimble so uh i thought that that was pretty interesting i'm kind of interested in the project because of that so you know there you go uh but i'm not shilling it i'm not telling you guys to mine it and i'm not going to mine it uh right away but i will keep my eye on it that's for sure but here's just a little bit more information about their project uh from what i could tell it was not so far, you know, above and beyond Monero other than the, the capped amount of coins. That, that is kind of cool. Uh, so I did like that feature. All right, so let's go ahead and document that Bitcoin talk thread. And I'm getting totally off the rails here. And let's see what their announcement date was. I don't remember what it was. January of last year. I'm sorry, February, <laughs> Valentine's Day of last year. Uh, so that's kind of cool. About a year old. And then their website, I don't remember if their website was, I think I already have that up. Right here. Copy that. 
Okay. Yeah, see, they mention that they pretty much highlight the fact that they're a finite uh, fork of Monero. So they have, um, you know, a limited number of emission. Other than that, I didn't see anything that really stood out. You know, private, scalable, secured, all the normal privacy coin stuff. Uh, it looks like they're capped at 256 million. And it looks like they might try to stay ASIC resistant. They might change their algos from time to time to stay off of ASICs. They don't, I don't think that they mention ASICs in here, but um, it looks like that might be what they're trying to do. So there you go. All right. Just a little bit about the project, not, not much. So I think we are ready for a wallet, which like I said, normally I like to uh, grab a, um, not have to download the wallet if I'm not totally interested in the project, but it looks like I'm going to have to do that with this because I couldn't find one on their Bitcoin talk grid. I couldn't find a donation wallet or someone posting their address. Uh, so I will just go ahead and, and do it. I'm not totally interested in the project, but we'll we'll run it through virus total just to see what what we come up with. Maybe it's not going to be too dirty. <laughs> um, I asked my my friend from Profitbot Pro uh, whether or not he had an address, and he wasn't sure. So um, yeah, so that's pretty much where we're stuck. If if the show is to go on, I have to have an address in order for us to get a accepted share. So. Um, I will sacrifice my the security of my machine here. <laughs> I don't really want to do that, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll run it through, you know, virus total and see what happens. And I don't have the chat up, so if you're, you guys are asking me questions, I just I got to get through this because I really want to get an accepted share. So talk amongst yourselves. Um, I don't know why I extracted that though. I probably I could have just ran the the zip through. Although it does make a difference because um, if it's a, extracted like this, it does make a difference on what virus total shows. Um, but what I'll do is I'll go back out here. I'm not even showing y'all what I'm doing. Basically, this is it. So let me um, let me go to virus total. We'll pull in the zip file here and see what it comes up with. Boom, it was so clean. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so that's, and it was kind of expected to be really super clean because it's been around a while. So, well, it's only been around a year, but, um, you know, I've said this a bunch of times, but these websites like this, Virus Total, um, where they're doing analysis of files, whether or not they're clean or not, as far as uh, antivirus or virus and malware and things like that, uh, it takes some effort by the developer team of the miner or the wallet or the cryptocurrency, whatever, to work with this website and their developers in order to get it worked out to whether or not it's clean or not. Um, actually, individual, each individual company here that's listed, AVG, Avast, you know, they the developers have to work with those to get it listed on here as being clean. Uh, so this is, that's, that's actually good that it is clean. I like that. Uh, so let's go to, I'm going to install the wallet real quick. I know you can't see what I'm doing, but that's okay. Actually, I extracted it. I can probably just run it. I'll just run it as an admin here. I'm just doing, I'm doing it on my other screen. Um, this is what I'm looking at right right here. You'll get this every time you run a wallet, right? You just click on uh, more info and then run anyway. If you trust it, of course. And then we're going to get this little UAC. All right. Let's see what happens here. It should come up. All right, so what I'll do is I will leave this I'm not going to accept that 
and I'm just going to, I can't move the wallet down there, but um, I'm going to choose to create a new wallet. I'm gonna leave that open because I'm not gonna allow it through the firewall because uh, I can get an address without doing that and that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm just gonna walk through real quick. It wants me to create a password, okay. Great, password. Okay, start the node, all right, great. Use Monero V. I'm gonna go to the, ad this is what they're at. They're, um, I should be able to pull this down. It's gotta start the node real quick, but um, give me just a second here. Once that comes up, I will be able to, I should be able to move this down to the screen. Yeah, there we go, okay. So I should be able to just click on address book actually not address but receive and get a receiving address right here so I'm just going to I think there's a copy button maybe right here yep uh, so it's copied to the clipboard so I'm going to come back to the spreadsheet and post it in here that is our mining address so we'll call it a QT desktop wallet um, now we need, I'm going to cancel that. I'm going to close out of everything, cancel that, get out of there. So basically the wallet is, I mean, I got a receiving address and that's pretty much it. It's not even able to talk on the network or anything like that. So you see how it's waiting and all that stuff. It might be synchronizing, but it, that's all it's doing. So I'm just going to exit out of it and be done with it. I'm going to stop the daemon. No big deal there. Uh, and I'll uninstall it after the show's over and stuff. So uh, so now we need to go and grab a pool. All right. So let's go to miningpoolstats.stream and we're going to go to Monero X, what is it, XMV. And that has some results here. Wow, it looks like 70% is on Kryptonite CC. So we'll try to choose a different one. Which ones? Which one have we used before? I think we've used Hero Miners before. And this one says Solo, but let me just look at this real quick. Okay, so that's optional. All right, I think we can use this one. Now it's probably we'll use Hive OS, and we'll probably uh, it they'll they'll have pools in there already. Um, so we'll see what it shows up in there. I know we're at 9.55. We got five minutes. All right, guys. Let's rock on. Get through this here. What's up, Yashnik? Thanks for tuning in, brother. All right, so I'm going to copy this address here and go to Hive OS. Let's bounce over there real quick. And we're gonna go uh, flight sheets because I'm sure that XMV is in there already as far as a coin supported by uh, Hive OS. And then we're gonna add a wallet. We're gonna throw in our address. And then a good practice, like I was talking about earlier, is to kind of look over it and make sure there's no spaces in there because that's, that's exactly what our problem was last night. Which was weird because the where we copied it from, there were no uh, spaces. So it was weird, but whatever. So we'll go XMV, uh, YouTube, and then create. And now because it was in there, you're gonna have, whenever you click the down arrow on the pool, you're gonna have some results, right? And it looks like they have Kryptonite, which that one has 70%. So we'll, we'll kind of look over that one for now. We wanna kind of spread the hash rate around a little bit. So let's go to, where is the, right here, Hero Miners was one of them. So we're, we're kind of lucky because it, Hero Miners is in here as well. Um, so we can just choose that and it will pre-fill a lot of the information for us. Uh, 10, 201, is that what we, yep, that's what we chose right here, see right here. 10,201 is the port. So we'll just click apply there. And then now, uh, whenever you click down arrow, 
on the minor, we're going to have some results kind of filtered for us, right, basically. Uh, so we're using AMD. So we will use XMRig AMD. It's just a personal preference. You could use XMR, you could use any of these, but you could use XMR stack, XMRig. Um, we'll use XMRig. I'm a fan of that. So we're going to choose setup minor. And in here, we don't really have to worry about this anymore unless you need to, unless you have like a mixed set of cards where you need to vary the intensities on each one. Uh, you would look at this and try to figure out, you know, what you need to do as far as your GPU threads go. Um, so I'm going to leave this all default. The coin was already in there, so this might be right. And this is good that I see this because I don't have that documented as far as what this looks like. So this, if this works, that's going to be cool to know. This is good information right here to know for future purposes. All right, so I'm going to click Apply Changes. We'll give it a name, XMV. This is the flight sheet name. XMV. Um, whoops. YouTube. And click uh, Create Flight Sheet. And um, let's see here. Then we're going to go to Workers. And click on the Scarif rig, which is the bottom rig over here, the AMD rig. Not the one that's being viewed right here. I mean, not this one, <laughs> but it's it's the one that's on the monitor, I believe. Yeah, the one that's on the monitor and uh, yeah, here on Hive OS. So we're gonna choose uh, the rocket, which is the flight sheet. And then we're going to go to XMV. We're gonna filter uh, by the flight sheet and then we're going to choose XMV right here and then apply. So now this one, this is so funny that this Grand Miner right here, this Grand Pro Miner, as time goes on, the GPS goes up. Uh, I think it started at like 19, 19 or something like that. And then it's just been creeping up over, over time, you know, uh, getting a little bit better hash rate. Nothing's changed, you know, on my end. It's the same miner, same version and all that stuff. Uh, but anyway, so, uh, let's see, probably, yep, it terminated back there, so we're going to do a refresh here, and I like to throw it a reboot as well after assigning the flight sheet. And I know it's 10 o'clock, and I'm sort of confident that we're going to get it on the first try, but we'll see. Um, I don't know, I haven't seen anything from Brandon, whether or not he's going live tonight. Let's see real quick. Yep. All right. So, oh, wow. He's talking about um, Kudo Miner. Okay. So that's cool. We'll head over there in just a minute. Let's head back to uh, Hive OS and see whether or not this thing is going to work or not. So it is rebooting. So that's good. Yeah, Jason, I um, I bought a little bit. I bought NVIDIA first, and the first rig was a six GPU, you know, ten series, and then uh, pretty much everything since then has been AMD. And I kind of regret that a little bit. I probably should have split it a little bit more evenly so that I could, uh, you know, spread it out a little bit better, and uh, still be able to mine things I was interested in. All right, let's see where we are at here. Do a refresh. Yeah, it's still booting up. You can see that back there. Yeah, like right now, I, I wish I had at least half of the GPUs as NVIDIA because of Grin and Beam and all that. Uh, yeah, AMD is really awful at those. <laughs> All right, let's see if we are. 
getting pretty close here. Okay. It's restarted. Says it started hive, so let's see if we are getting minor info up here. Doesn't look like it. So we must have a problem. No, nope, not yet. It's still building the it's still compiling the miners and all that stuff. Alright, so it does say accepted shares. Let me show you that real quick. So we should get a you know, result here, maybe, hopefully, as far as uh, what, there we go. So we got a hash rate here for Monero V, XMV 10K is what we're getting. So we'll head over to ProfitBot Pro uh, real quick, and we will, this is a developer friend of mine, known him for a super long time, but he's designed this website and developed this website, and it's uh, Kryptonite only coins that's it and I think he's got like a hundred yeah 126 kryptonite altcoins so uh, if you have anything to do with kryptonite or those types of coins privacy coins go here or kryptonite specific and uh, he's got you know profit um, he's got software he's got miners he's got all that stuff right here uh, super cool so we will go by name we're gonna sort by name and we know that we are doing uh, 10k right on kryptonite so we'll do a calculate profit which is really just going to sort by name and then we're going to go and find uh, Monero V real quick right here it is so based on what we're looking at we're we're looking at 60 cents a day for an entire rig <laughs> for a 12 GPU rig ah, not good um, but that's at you know that's including the power costs and all that stuff. So um, you know, 60 cents a day is what we're looking at. Eh, not good. All right, guys, uh, that is going to do it for this stream. We're going to head over to um, yeah, I think so. Randy. Oh, uh, by the way, that's Randy. That's the owner or developer of Profit by Pro. He's gonna you know he's probably going to get really mad at me for how I'm doing his you know how I'm. Uh, managing his website but hey you know managing the navigation of it I did uh, I, I put I guess that I'm doing this right I don't know I click calculate profit here after putting in the kryptonite um, the 10k over there I think that's right right it, it defaulted to 10 which is about where I'm at where I'm at you know uh, in that's about my cost. Um, it's probably maybe a little bit more than that. It's probably a, a, actually about 11 after taxes and all that stuff. But nonetheless, it's still only about 60 cents a day for a 12 GP rig on this particular coin, which is not great. But that's not, that's not your fault, Randy. It's not. <laughs> all right, guys. Let's head over to uh, Brandon Coin. We we oh, I was going to show you. Um, yeah, we do have accepted shares. So let me let me show you that real quick. We'll just head over here. Man, I'm like six minutes late. That's not good. Brandon's going to be mad. Twenty four hour power. Okay, so like, if you knew how much it was for a whole day, you would add it in there? Is that what you're saying, Randy? Let me doo -doo -doo, go over here. All right, so you can see right here that we are getting accepted shares, so that's awesome, um, which is pretty much the goal of the show. And we have done it this time. So, uh, yeah. There you go. Uh, what are we looking at, Randy? That's pretty slick. What? What's slick? Hive? Yeah, that's pretty nice. 
<laughs> uh, let's see. So you're saying, but to add a later, see the 24 hour power. Got that, okay. Um, what screenshots are you talking about, Randy? Like to send a screenshot? For you to send one? I don't know. I don't know what kind of, you're, you're a mod. See right here? See right here? You're a mod. All right, so that's enough yapping. I'm gonna head over to Brandon Coins live stream. Let me post a link here for that. Man, this is a pretty good show. We were successful. I got to do a shout out. I got Randy in here. This is pretty strong. This is a good show. We did we did well today, guys and gals. If there's any gals in here, not likely though. All right, so let's head over to Brandon Coins live stream. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you guys again on Monday. I will be live Monday at 9:30, same time, and all that stuff. Uh, so head back over here and check it out. I, there's no telling what we'll be mining, but you know that's just the way it is. I'll see you guys uh, Monday. Let's head over to Brandon Coin. Thanks so much for watching. Stay savage and all that stuff. Have a good weekend. I'll see you guys on Monday. Take care.